Hey guys, welcome back. So we are jumping right into the video today because we're gonna be deep cleaning my bedroom. This is something I do about every six weeks, but definitely when the season starts to change. If you're new here, welcome. I do lifestyle videos and I love it if you subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also huge thank you to Dyson for sponsoring today's video. So as you guys saw, there wasn't really much to pick up. Typically when I start cleaning any room, I like to go through and um, just kind of sort things out, put everything in their permanent homes. But today I'm actually starting with the bed sheets because we're gonna be washing them, washing the duvet cover and all that. I also made sure to remove everything, including the pillows from the room because we're gonna be dusting and I don't want any of that dust to get on top of the pillows or anything like that. So I didn't have too many things out of place, but I did go ahead and grab whatever was laying around and put it in its permanent home. And the first thing I'm gonna start dusting is the window drapes. And you guys, I am so excited to share this with you. Dyson has come out with a brand new cordless vacuum cleaner. This is the Dyson V11. So it is a newer series than the one that you guys are used to seeing me use. And there are so many cool features about this vacuum cleaner that I cannot wait to share with you. It does come with different attachments. So here I am changing it into a smaller attachment that is more suitable for drapes and things like that. As I said, this vacuum cleaner is absolutely cord free, which is one of my personal favorite things about it. I seriously vacuum so much more now that I don't have to deal with cords. But one of the newest features in the V11 is that it now has a display screen. It is so cool because it tells you when your battery is running low, so you have time to go charge it. Um, it also tells you when you have to change out your filter, if something is clogged. So it's just really convenient. The new Dyson also has three different settings that you can access using this little button right here. So you can put it on boost, which is basically like the high speed. It has the eco setting, which is perfect for everyday cleaning. And then my personal favorite is the auto mode. Basically the Dyson will determine if it needs to use high power or low power. Um, which is perfect for me because I have area rugs throughout the house and then I also have hard floors So I don't have to sit there and alternate between the speeds the Dyson will do it by itself um, And the reason that it's able to go from hardwood to carpet is because it also has a high torque Cleaner head which is the very first attachment that you guys saw me remove that head is suitable for all different floor types so next I'm going to tackle the headboard and this may not sound like a lot of work, but you guys it takes so long because it is so tall. This newer model has even more suction power and you guys will see later on when I'm vacuuming my high pile rug how it really gets in there and this is something that's important for me because I do have tons of high pile rugs throughout the house. So needless to say, I am so psyched about this vacuum cleaner. It is so powerful, but at the same time, it's still light. As you guys can see, I'm still able to hold it with one hand just like I was with my old one. So definitely check out Dyson.com to find out more information about it. I will leave the link down below. Next, I went ahead and wiped all the windows down. I do have a total of three large windows here, so they do also tend to accumulate dust. I'd actually done the blinds a few days before, so I didn't have to do this again, but I did have to do the window seals. I also went ahead and wiped down this little table. This also accumulates so much dust and because it's black, it definitely is super noticeable. Uh, so I go ahead and wipe that down and wipe it all the way down to the base. So next I cleaned the mirrors and also took the opportunity to wipe down the chandeliers which also accumulate a lot of dust over time and also the nightstands. I swear my side of the bed accumulates more dust and I have no idea why. So I do like this glass solution that I get from Grove, but um, I did find that whenever I'm cleaning a larger mirror like this, if I don't use a paper towel, it leaves almost like little pieces of lint. 
So a little trick I've been doing is after I clean it, I go in with a clean microfiber that's completely dry and that usually does the trick. And the last thing to wipe down is my dresser. I'm just wiping down the mirror. This little area is still unfinished. I still have to hang this mirror up. I also need to change out the knobs to this dresser. And just a few little things are left. I'm basically redoing our room little by little. So eventually, once it's completely done, I will definitely show you guys a finished room tour. Um, so yeah, that's why everything kind of looks out of place right now. Now that everything is completely wiped down, the last thing to do is the floors. So I went ahead and vacuumed the floors, kind of moved some furniture out of the way so I could really get behind all the furniture. By this time the sheets were ready so I went ahead and made the bed. I really wanted to kind of change up the bed a little bit. I used to have the blue in here and I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it. So I want your opinion. I put together three different layouts. Let me know which one's your favorite. I feel like this one is like a mix between spring and winter because it's very white but it's also you know very bright. Then the second option is to add a pop of black and then this throw that has a little bit of like color and texture to it. I think it really ties in the black and white ottoman. Um, so that's option number two. And then the third option is to keep the blue accent. And for this one, I pulled down the duvet and kind of folded it. And then I added the larger pillows and then also the blue blanket that I had on there before. So I really like this one because it ties in the rest of the blue, but I honestly can't decide which option I like more. Let me know down in the comments which one I should keep permanently. And that is it, you guys. My room is clean and ready for the springtime. Again, thank you to Dyson for sponsoring today's video. And make sure you head over to Dyson.com. The link will be down below, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.